Hello everybody. Let's talk about the nitty gritty basics of evidence and objecting for newbie trial lawyers. You got to have a strategy and your strategy is usually to pick your battles. Not always. Sometimes you'll be in such a desperate situation that you want to object to anything and everything. Assuming that's not the situation. You want to pick your battles. You want to come off to the jury in your objections as well as the rest of your conduct of the case as competent, professional, and reasonably successful. Reasonably successful in the, in the sense that you win most or many of your objections. You should pick your battle because it is well known that jur jurors are annoyed by sidebar conferences, objections, and other kinds of interruptions. One way uh, to get an a, a easy laugh from a jury after a trial, because trial judges get to go and talk to them afterwards, is when they ask a question, is to say, may I have a sidebar on that? And it invariably gets a big laugh because they're so annoyed by lawyers who object a lot and ask for sidebar conferences and do things to slow the trial down. You want to be competent, professional, and reasonably successful. And generally, you do not want to object to everything. A uh, challenge is timing. Timing the objection properly for new lawyers uh, and for rusty lawyers who have a lot of experience uh, is a challenge. Uh, the, ideally, your objection should come after the question and before the answer. But if you can't manage that, better to be early than to be late. Uh, and we often see wonderful lawyers and wonderfully experienced trial lawyers who show something of a warm-up effect at the beginning of a trial. What I mean is uh, we'll often see very good very experienced lawyers who are late on their objections at the beginning of the, tr of the trial. It's naturally one needs to get warmed up at the beginning of a trial. So you first want to master the timing after the question and before the answer and then you need to warm up for every trial or evidentiary hearing that you conduct. The objection should be, uh, one, the basis should be stated as one word or up to three words, but no more. Avoid speaking objections. Speaking objections are when an attorney makes an objection and then launches into a detailed argument about the evidentiary basis for the objection. It is frowned upon. Uh, it can draw a, an unnecessary rebuke from the judge. Uh, and it can make you look bad in front of the jury. A professional says one to three words as a basis for an objection, or if not that, just a general objection. Avoid speaking objections. The decision to object has to be made at almost a sub-rational level. So you have to practice it. Uh, and you have to practice it to get the timing right. And it is done so quickly and under so much pressure and so much stress during the trial process that inevitably it defies a rational decision. So sometimes you will object just because it sounds like it's objectionable. And as you stand up, as you voice the objection, as the seconds tick by, you actually realize the basis for the objection. Almost like a video game. Watch the next video on the nitty-gritty basics of evidence and objecting for newbie trial lawyers related concepts. Thank you.